Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, coming to you with another video here from the uh, the shop at the uh, Old Barn Homestead channel. Just uh, those of you that are friends of mine on Facebook saw yesterday I posted the picture that we got the plasma table in. Um, it was delivered via hot shot from um, Jackson, Tennessee, uh, which is where it's made True Cut CNC. Um, a guy there, you know, like six years ago, decided to build his own table and then he had some friends or other people wanted tables built so he built them one and the next thing you know uh he started a business and now they're selling like 12 or 15 of these a month um and seem to be doing pretty good with it it's uh it seems to be for what you get you know um reasonably priced and when i got it i was pretty happy with the just the fit and finish the way it looks the welds the squareness of it you know the you know the finishing of it um they had uh used these um tie downs uh to secure the gantry to keep it from moving and they've got the z head over here you know uh, locked in so it can't move um the uh you know just the the finish on it it's you know powder coated um which is included in there i could have saved three thousand dollars just bought the gantry itself and they give you the plans to build your own table um, and you know and estimate that a four by eight table is about a thousand dollars in uh in material so you know then you're so you're they're basically charging you two thousand dollars in labor um you know and consumables and you know whatever else to actually fabricate the table um you know, but I'm I'm happy with it. Just the the construction of it, the welds, you know, uh, seem to look good. Um, this just the squareness of it. Uh, I mean, it's uh, you know, I mean, it's a table. It's 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 what it's supposed to be. The slats, you know, one of the things that they do, which I see more and more tables coming this way now, instead of having the slats just be squared off, they've got them uh, sort of offset so that they're in here in a curved way and they're sprung sprung in there so that you know as you're cutting on it your your piece doesn't you know move because the slats move they're in there pretty firm and uh, won't move around which is which is a good thing uh the uh control box um looks pretty i don't know if you'll be able to see in there or not it looks pretty well uh organized and looks like they did a nice job just laying everything out um this is a Mach 3 driven uh, controller. So, um, you know, which most of your low end CNC machines run that. They, they used to use a magnetic torch breakaway and they've continued to just refine their uh, approach over time to, you know, do things that make it engineer it better, make it work better. Um, now they use this spring style breakaway uh, the Z height control is independent of Mach, and um, you know they use these sensors and other things to constantly maintain the Z height. I need to look into that a little bit more. They've uh, yeah, so they've done a lot of changes with the motors and you know uh, various configuration things to just make them run better. And um, so yeah, um, the one thing I've got to do is. Uh, you see the ground lug that they give you here incorporated into the table they want you to um drive an eight foot ground stake into the ground as near the table as possible so i'm just going to poke a hole through the bottom of the wall and drive a stake out there um and they want a solid copper wire going to it or a number six uh you know wire going to it so I guess, you know, uh, they really, really want to make sure the table's grounded. I don't know if the other guys that have machines like this or tables like this, if that's the case, but they've, there's like an overemphasis on making sure that the grounds are, are good. Um, so yeah, I need to get, um, one of the things that I want to do is, is hang the, one of those tinted welding curtains from, from this beam. And then also probably from this purlin right here, um, and then you know just box the whole thing in it, we we did get the water table option so um so we got that and um i've 
you know heard that it really does a good job of containing the smoke and the fumes and and all um but um you know i i i don't know if i should just go ahead and fire it up and see you know get a look at what what it's going to look like before i do anything or go ahead and make plans to do something it's going to be another week or so before i can get it going uh still got to get some electrical over here for it um and you know when they did the shop electrical you can see that box up there uh i thought there were supposed to be lines you know already pulled and just landed at that box and um but there's nothing in it so they're going to come back and see they think it might be in a box buried underneath the foam over there where they brought them over to this side there's definitely supposed to be some wires over here um that that you know i had you can see the label on that um tin right there I've, i had that that's probably been up there a long time uh marking that this is where the table was going to go so um anyway um yeah so let me let guys know what you think i heard from one person who bought one of these in 2013 and really had a poor experience with with them um my experience was pretty good actually they it was about uh three weeks from the time i paid a deposit until they said it was ready a little bit of confusion they they called me and said it's ready to ship go ahead and send the rest of your money i did my money cleared the bank and i you know just called them to see about you know when it was going to ship so i could make plans to have it unloaded um and they're like oh well we're waiting on a couple parts it ha it's not ready to ship yet so you know i concerned me a little bit at first because now you got all my money and i don't have anything and you never know what's going on with these shops you know little small mom and pop shops i mean you just you never know um and that's for me a lot of money to have out there that you know with with no guarantee but um if you look if you search them on the internet and just you know look at the various facebook groups and forums it seems like overall they have a pretty good reputation and nobody's perfect um i did hear from from one subscriber that had a really poor experience with them and actually has one of these that he's not even using so uh because of the some some problems that he had with the table but um anyway didn't get a metalwork monday video up there's the the actual thing for metalwork monday i'm just finishing it up now so hopefully i'll get that up here in the next uh, little while all right guys uh I just want to give you a quick update. Lots and lots of rambling. Sorry about that. You can see we got a huge mess over here from me over the weekend and other stuff going on. You notice the lack of cabinets in here now. Finally got those mounted. I'll show you those in a um, in a couple of days. And uh, yeah, so you guys have a good one.